Apex Legends Season 21 is broken. I would say I didn't think I'd be making this video, but I think we all saw the new update being broken because Apex have a pretty good track record as of recently. But from heirlooms being broken to major glitches stopping you from even playing some legends, let's talk about why Season 21 is broken. The new legend altar is awesome and they have an amazing set of abilities. Her tactical that lets you create portals through surfaces, both horizontally and vertical, is an amazing ability, but it's bad to have some glitches and there are probably some great spots that you can glitch into with her tactical but for now there's a glitch going around where her tactical doesn't put you in phase. Instead, it just immediately teleports you to the other position. Now, it still holsters your weapon, but it's much quicker than if you were phasing because normally when you teleport, you phase for about a second, but with this glitch, you just instantly appear. It's just like you're playing the portal game. You just instantly appear where the other portal is. Now, I'm not entirely sure how you replicate this glitch. I think it's something to do with certain surfaces, but a lot of people seem to be stumbling across this glitch now, and it seems to just be happening randomly to people. So if this happens, to you make use of the portal because it gives you a pretty good advantage compared to when you normally just phase out of it. Now, a new heirloom glitch couldn't have come at a better time than when they just released all of the new artifacts for the Qatar set, because right now in Apex, you can't equip a single heirloom. None of your heirlooms are equipable. If you go into the legend screen and choose the melee weapon that you want, then back out and go back in, it will be unequipped and the fist will be re-equipped again. So this happens for all legends, for all heirlooms, for artifacts, everything you just can't equip them. So this big money-making scheme that they're trying out with these new artifacts already has gone off to a pretty terrible start because nobody in Apex can equip heirlooms right now. I mean, this is just too funny. Don't worry, obviously, this is a very simple fix. I'm sure they'll get it fixed soon, but I think it's classic Apex at this point for there to be glitches like this at the start of every new season or even just every little update. Onto another legend that has a pretty terrible glitch, it's Valkyrie. Valkyrie is basically not viable in Apex right now now because if you jump after using her jetpacks, the jetpacks will no longer recharge. And this isn't just a small time window. Literally, if you ever jump after using her jetpacks, then you won't be able to use them ever again because they won't recharge. So I'd probably hold off playing Valkyrie if you're going to be playing ranked because you won't be able to use her jetpacks. And I mean, that is a huge part of Valkyrie's kit. So good luck, Valkyrie mains. It's not going to be great for you in season 21. I don't know if there'll be a nice hot fix for this. I don't know how quickly Apex are are going to be able to patch any of these glitches. Hopefully we can see updates within, you know, the hour or so, but I don't know. It's not looking too hopeful. Also, at the very beginning of Season 21, Apex forgot one major thing. They forgot to reset ranked. So for the first hour of Season 21, no one's rank was reset, and it said that there was still six days left for the ranked season. So I'm sure that caught a few of you off guard. It also meant that people didn't get any of their ranked rewards from last season at the start of Season 21. Luckily, Respawn have issued a fix for this. So the rank season is back to normal now as of making this video. And if you haven't got any of your ranked rewards, just restart the game and then you'll get your ranked rewards from last season and everything should be golden. But I don't know how Apex managed to forget about the ranked season update, but hey, we move on from that. I tell you one thing I probably can't move on from is the new exotic shop. Now we can see it's official. The exotic shop where you can spend your exotic shards at the moment the only things in there are two reactive recolors. That's right, recolors of Battle Pass reactives that you got in the Premium Battle Pass, which costs everyone $10. $10 for the Battle Pass to get you a reactive skin. Now they're charging $40 per reactive skin in the exotic shop. It's 50 exotic shards to buy the Mystic Coil R99 recolor and the Overheat Flatline recolor. And here you can see the price of exotic shards. It's $40 for 50 shards. So this skin is $40. Now don't get me wrong, the Mystic Coil R99 skin is beautiful. It's RGB, it looks awesome in the dark, but I am not paying $40 for this and I don't think anyone in their right mind will be spending $40 on one weapon skin in Apex, especially for the R99, which has been nerfed like crazy and is now pretty much the worst SMG in the game. So maybe we will see an R99 buff so that more people buy this recolor. Also, the Void Raider event. Let's talk about it. This is an event where you have to buy 10 event packs to get all of the event rewards. And most of you will have to buy all the event packs to get the legendary caustic skin with a special select animation. And the total cost of the entire event will be 6,700 Apex coins. So if you're willing to spend that to get all of this stuff, then 
then fair enough. Now, if you wanted to try and do the Belgium trick to buy the Caustic skin outright, well, you can't do that because they patched that too. They made it so for Belgium players, the Caustic skin is the 10th milestone reward, meaning you have to buy the entire event. So yeah, that's interesting. They really don't want you getting the Caustic skin for cheap. Also, if you take a look in the free battle pass, you can see this transition screen and it's pretty cool. It's got Horizon looking down on Ulta with a Mozambique pointed to her head and a bunch of caustic gas in the background. But if you look, the exact style of this image is the same as the launch trailer. Normally we get a launch trailer for every new season and then in the battle pass, there's a couple of transition screens that are screenshots from the launch trailer. And this right here is clearly a screenshot from some kind of launch trailer, but we never got a launch trailer for season 21. All we got was the alter stories from the Outlands, which didn't really tell us anything. It kind of left a lot of it up to question. Then we got the season gameplay trailer, and then we finally got a small sort of mini battle pass slash event trailer yesterday, but we did not get a launch trailer. So we didn't get a nice cinematic explanation of alter appearing in the Apex games, joining the Apex games, interacting with Horizon and why she wants to help Horizon with time travel, we didn't get any hints towards her being subject zero. We didn't get any explanation for why she blew up Olympus and sent it flying into Broken Moon. We didn't get any cinematic trailer to explain how the legends feel about Ulta. It seems like they made a launch trailer, but for some reason they weren't able to release it. So if you equip this transition screen, maybe it is part of something that we never got. But the new story chapters will be releasing in season 21 with the first one in game right now, which is the only thing that updates us on what's going on with the lore. So take a look at this. <laughs> yes, I won. But tell Prav to concentrate on dinner, or it'll be an unmitigated disaster. Mm, she heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rose, I missed you too. What have you been up to? Something must be going on there. On Boreas? <laughs> More like Boringus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't boo me, Prav. <sighs> it's the same old working. Looking up at Cleo, imagining our kitty cat up there kicking ass. What the? Hello? What Olympus? This phone. Cleo or phone? Rose. Rose? Well. Tessa, you there? Finally. I hate phones, Rose. Next break I get, I'm coming to visit. Might want to hold off on that. What? What is that? Is that Cleo? Prav says Olympus smashed into her stasis net. How is that even possible? We're on Olympus. We certainly would have felt it. The stasis net? Without it... Half of Cleo will fall on Boreas. I must contact my parents. Tessa, I told her. Prav, you turn off the stove. I'll grab the go back. Tressa, I, I've got to go. My parents. I cannot reach them. Rose, could you or Prav check... Check on Sears' parents? Of course. Flip me their address. Done. My gratitude, Tressa's companion. Yeah, don't mention it. You too. Be careful, will you? Of course. And Surf says, what? what do we do now? I... I do not know. Yeah, that's about all we got in terms of what's going on in Season 21. But hey, there you go. That's the new season of Apex and why it's absolutely broken. And I'm sure even the glitches that we pointed out in this video today are probably just the tip of the iceberg for the glitches that are to come. The update has only been out for three hours while I'm recording this video. And we've already found all of these glitches. And I'm sure Alter's abilities are so wild that you'll be able to do so many other glitches with them. I mean, her tactical literally lets you teleport through walls. It's only a matter of time before someone uses uses that to somehow glitch outside of the map or something crazy like that. So stay tuned if you want to see all of the news and interesting things that come out of season 21 and go and enjoy solos and the new legend Ulta and let me know in the comments if you found any more glitches in this season because I'm sure there's plenty more where they're coming from.